Hello everybody, we're going to be starting 9-5, which is fraction number lines. I have my class here to teach me, help me teach today. Say hello everybody. And we're going to see if we can make an awesome video for all you YouTubers out there so you can learn your fraction number lines. So we're going to go ahead, everyone has our reteaching sheet out. We're going to take a look at number one. Number one says write the value of A and B for each number line. So we're going to take a look. And number one, it looks like, hmm, class, what is number one split into? How many equal parts does number one have? Six, yes, we do have six equal parts on the number line, folks. So if I have zero to one, notice that it is zero to one. There's only one whole, and it's divided into six equal parts. Now, if I have six equal parts, that means that we divide them into? Six. Sixth. Good job, class. So if we take a look, it's asking you, what is the value of A, and what is the value of B? What? Who can raise their hand and tell me what is the value of of A on this number line. Notice we have 1 sixth something, 3 sixth something, then 5 sixths. Okay, if you can count by ones, then hopefully you can get this one right. Okay, how about you, Hayden? Talk nice and loud for me. A is 2 sixths. 2 sixths, that sounds good to me, Hayden. All right, so I'm going to write right below that, I'm going to write 2 sixths. Good job. And what about B? Now I have 1 6, 2 6, 3 6. What do you think B is going to be? Make sure you talk nice and loud, Zara. B is 4 6. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. That's right. Good job, Zara. Alrighty, let's move on to number 2. Class, how many equal parts is number 2 divided into? Class? Good, four equal parts. So if we look, this one needs to tell us what A is and what B is. Okay, notice that this first section is one fourth. We don't know what B is, and then we have three fourths and one fourth. Now this one's kind of a trick question. All right, so pay attention. What do you think um, A is? Where does that sit on the number line? Sophia, what do you think? Nice and loud. Zero. zero. Good. I thought that would be a tricky one where it stump you. That is a zero. Then from zero to this first one, this is one equal part, which is worth one fourth. And then I have a second equal part, so we would call B what, Peyton? Two, Two fourths, absolutely, dude. Good job. All righty, we're going to move on down. Reason, which letter on this number line has the lesser value, A or B? And we can actually connect this to our timeline activity yesterday, too. So think about that. Which one has a lesser value? Is it? Um, this A over 3 or B over 3. So is it how many thirds or how many thirds? What do you think? Brennan, what do you think? Which one would have a greater value? Well, let's answer this question first. What is A worth? What is A worth? What number is missing there? One. One, yeah, that's right. So A is 1 third. And who can tell me what B is equal to here? Wendy? Two, yes, that B is equal to two. So what number is higher, A or B, Jaden R? B, absolutely, two is bigger than three. So if I'm reasoning, I'm going to use my good math words, and I'm going to use a full sentence here, okay? So I can say something like, I know B is equal to two, and A is equal to to one. I know two is bigger than one, so B must be bigger. Or we can use that logic from the timeline. Anything to the right is further, it lasts later, or it's bigger when we're looking at the number line. Alrighty, folks out there on YouTube, I hope that this helps you out. Um, everybody say goodbye, Mr. Chase's class. Yeah.